Frisbee Club cancels Bodanza, headlines everywhere. There's three keys to disc golf, driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport. Get in the hole. Oh, what is up y'all? We are out here at Cambridge Short today. We're gonna be tossing the full 18, see if we can lay something down. Hopefully like a 10 down minimum. This course is probably one of the shorter ones you'll ever see. So honestly, if we can't keep it under at least 10, kind of trash. No real topic today. Honestly, just gonna be tossing some Frisbees. Oh. So I've done a couple of videos out on this course before you guys have probably seen, but I've never really talked about the course. If I'm being totally honest, not one of my favorites in the area, but honestly, the worst part of my game is throwing like anything under 200. So I figured why not get out for a quick round, see if we can dial in the short game. Come on. Let's go. So I was chatting with Anthony from Bodanza Disc Golf the other day and he said, yo, let me send you one of my glitches. I said, hell yeah, man. I love the glitch. It's one of my favorite discs. So we're going to do a little unboxing for you. He, he wrote me a note. Nice. Maybe if you get your subscribers and disc golf clout up, I'll send you one that's not a misprint. Bonanza Disc Golf. What the fuck? I guess I'll just try it out. 252, slight turnover. Well, obviously this glitch is gonna suck. That's why I threw it in the trees. Honestly, the dude seemed kind of cool when I talked to him on the phone. Guy's just throwing shade at me, saying I need to get more subscribers and get my clout up. Guy gave me a gap. Oh, not a bad run. Hole four, the tee box is literally four feet wide, 128 feet, definitely a glitch. Highs are through the trees. Hopefully I can get an ace out here today. They're literally like 150 foot holes on half of them. So you'd hope I could put one in. Another peach. So I know a lot of you guys probably found my channel maybe from my glitch video. That was kind of one of my first ones to actually do some good numbers. Honestly, it's one of the best discs I think that's on the market for upshots. It's just, it honestly changed my game. I can literally flick my wrist and it goes like 150 dead straight. Like, what the hell is this shit? A misprint? Come on, bro. The disrespect. 200 feet, way downhill, little hyzer left. That's honestly pretty good. Come on, yup, let's go. The putt is feeling solid. We're keeping pace for the 10 down. 199, hole six, bitch glitch once again. Little left. Oh. Let's go. Also guys, it is hot as fuck out here today. It's been kind of cold again here in Tennessee and it's like 78 degrees. I'm sweating my fucking balls off. Hole well, seven, 130 feet. We're gonna try a standstill punch right up the side here. Get in. Oh, I keep leaving myself testers because I'm trying to get aces. Ah, let's go. Ooh, that was ugly. <laughs> Keeping pace. Hopefully that 10 down is not even a challenge. Hole eight, 137. Literally doesn't get any more straightforward than this. Bitch glitch for the one time. Oh, and he takes lock and goes 40 deep. Right on line, just too damn low. Took a little bit of pull. Bro, you fucking suck. So this is probably one of the harder holes on the course, 280, but like plays down a valley, then up a hill. And there's almost no actual like park it gap. You just gotta get lucky high. If that slides up. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh, I thought that was in. You know guys, usually I got a lot to say, but today I'm just kind of out throwing some Frisbees. Guys, if you've never thrown a glitch, you gotta get one. One thing regarding my game is I'm trying to release more flat. I tend to be like a hyzer flip guy, which is fine, but I want to expand my game and really learn how to just... Throw flat. What do you guys think about little pitch and putt courses like this? Honestly, it's not my style. I'm not a fan of them. I'll choose a longer course almost any day over a course like this. Today, I just didn't feel like throwing too hard. I've kind of had some like elbow issues lately. Every once in a while, my timing's a little off and I get like a little pop pinch in the elbow. 
not ideal but we're trying to work it out feels good today so hopefully that's a good sign baskets peeking around that tree a little bit bro not ideal for the 10 down pace all right y'all we got a little soft par four here 451 super tight wooded gap usually you get a nice little eagle bit if you pipe it just like that get get hyzer I'm gonna throw another one here just for fun. Just a little buzz shot. That might be even better actually, because that might get earlier fade. Bodanza actually made a video just the other day about like the number one disc golf tip to make you better or something like that. And all it was was just throw smooth. And I, I could not agree more. If you throw smooth, the disc will go far. You don't need to like, put everything you have into it. Most of the time, if you have solid form, all you gotta do is throw a 75% smooth shot and you're probably gonna get the same distance as that 100% shot where you kinda lose your form a little bit. Your timing goes a little bit out the window. Stay smooth, slow it down, and you'll probably get the same, if not more distance. So my Buzz and then my Votum, literally mid-range fairway driver, landed almost exactly the same. We're gonna try and throw the glitch in. Ah, uh, not that. Damn it. Very, very soft par four, by the way. You could honestly just call it a par three, but I'm gonna take the stroke today. They actually have it listed as a par five on the sign. <laughs> no, but we'll go right in the middle. Hole 12, 151. You could honestly play this whole damn course with a glitch. Ah, a little too much turn, maybe. Oh, no. I keep leaving myself putts. Straight thorns through here. Oh, fuck. We're gonna try and do like a horseshoe bid through here. I'm literally standing in thorns. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was cracked. Got absolutely nerdy on that last putt. Really needed that one. Next time I come out here, literally tell me to bring a glitch, a buzz in my putters. That's in. Oh, little 20 footer. Once again, the ace run has, I basically haven't parked anything. Hole 14, 239. That's either really good or deep. That's really good. It's honestly such a beautiful evening out here. Mid seventies, no wind at all. Just a good day for some frisbeeing. The weather here in Nashville is looking pretty good coming up. Hopefully that means tons of content coming soon. Really gonna bump it up a notch. I just don't really wanna play when it's like 30 degrees and raining. So the content has been somewhat limited. I recently added a DGA Quake to the bag and it's been absolutely money, both forehand and backhand. Definitely becoming one of my go-to frisbees, not gonna lie. Hole 15, 291, but plays honestly way longer than that. Probably one of the hardest twos on the course. You really gotta like push something on an ante, but then get it to fight out at the end and kind of push up there straight to actually get a putt. We're gonna throw a new stable buzz. Oh, I love that. Goodbye. Oh, I'm about 13 feet pin high left. By far the best shot I've ever had on this hole. I honestly was not planning to birdie this one, so this is kind of a, definitely a bonus. Let me know if you guys are interested in a little bit more of just like casual scoring rounds, full 18s, you know, no real topic. More or less just tossing the Frisbees, maybe say something here and there. Kind of all we got tonight. Hole 16, 167 feet, literally just a hyzer. That's in. Oh, what? I feel like my depth is off on this one because I always come up a little short. I would like to maybe make a video like kind of breaking down how I attack a course. Obviously not a course like this because you're more or less just pitching off every tee, but an actual course that requires different shots off of every tee. Kind of talk about what goes through my mind, kind of my idea of how to play certain holes, play certain shots, shapes landing zones, strategies, whatever it may be. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I have had a couple comments lately talking about like, yo, talk a little bit more about your game. I always pick a topic and kind of go on that. And I honestly don't really say much about what I'm doing. Maybe I'll start making some content that actually focuses on me as a disc golfer rather than just kind of talking about stuff.
we'll toss some frizz. Full 17, 173, water behind it, slightly downhill. I'm gonna take my stable PA3 and try and put it on like an Annie so that it kind of finishes while falling flat onto the basket. Slight ace run, but more or less not going in the water. And then I just shank it. Well guys, we went a little deep. Not even gonna cap you guys, I'm not playing it from the water. I'm gonna play this from the front. Front casual relief, new rule. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was squeaking that in. Oh, I suck. Well guys, we made it to hole 18. It is 205 feet, but with about 50 feet of elevation, it always plays a little longer than you think it's gonna. Gonna just try and put my buzz on a little Annie push line. Go. Oh, that's that's literally parked actually. Nice. Absolute peach. You guys gotta get me to the Creator Cup so me and Bodanza can box. Just can't have him throwing shade like that, guys. It's just, it's just not what we need in the disc golf community. We don't need people being mean. We don't need people joking around. We don't want that. That's not the community that we are trying to build. It just honestly hurts me to like know that a guy who like I talked to and I thought he was super cool and then he you know offers even to send me a glitch. I'm like, bro, it's like one of my favorite discs. And then he just throws shade at me like that, like writes me a mean note and like hurts my feelings. It just doesn't make sense. I've watched his videos and I'm like, that just doesn't seem like him. Maybe he was having a bad day. I don't really know. Otherwise, I don't know guys, we might have to cancel him. Frisbee Club cancels Bodanza. Headlines everywhere. I like the sound of that. We'll see you in the next one. Before your time, though, so wrong.